people emailing me and asking me, and I think it falls into that classic category of way overthinking things because when I explain it, they're like, oh, is that it? And the question is, how do I knit double-stranded? A pattern has told me to hold the yarn double-stranded and you don't understand how that goes. And really, I can tell you the answer. I'm going to show you the answer too, but I'll tell you, it just means holding two strands of yarn together as if they were one strand of yarn and working all the stitches just like it was one strand of yarn. And there are lots of different reasons for holding yarn like that, and I'll run through the ones that I can think of right now, and um, one pattern comes to mind right away for me that's a, a felted clog pattern, and they have you knitting double-stranded all the way through with wool yarn, and then knitting triple-stranded when you knit the sole, so that when it's felted, the sole is especially thick and squishy and comfortable. And um, I think I can remember the pattern. I'll give you a link in the video description field once I remember the exact name of the pattern. But holding the yarn double-stranded, and then triple-stranded actually makes a difference in how the pattern works together. Um, you might also uh, want to knit double-stranded if you want to knit with two colors together to get kind of a different effect on a scarf, like I've done here. I, I wrote down some more reasons here. Um, it's also the same with crochet or knitting. Either pattern could ask for that. Yes, another reason would be is if you're using a novelty yarn or a mohair yarn, um, a fun fur yarn or a mohair yarn, there isn't a lot to those yarns. They have a really thin string with just kind of fuzz around it. And when you knit with them by themselves, they, the thing you're knitting, the fabric you're making, doesn't have much substance to it. So a lot of times designers will have you use what's called a carrier yarn with the mohair or the fun fur to give it more substance and to have just more structure to the piece. That's kind of a normal thing to do. Another reason that you might want to knit with um, double strands is if you want to knit uh, a pattern, like a hat, let's say, that uses bulky yarn, and you don't have any bulky yarn, but you have all this worsted yarn, you can, usually you can, depends on the yarn, you can hold two strands of worsted yarn together to make bulky yarn, and you have the yarn you need at home. Um, you do have to check your gauge, because it's not a for sure thing, but you can hold pretty much two strands of sock yarn together for a sport weight yarn, or two strands of DK for worsted weight. You know, it, that, that's the basics and how it works out, but you should always check your gauge and you may need to adjust your needle sizes. Now, knitting with double-stranded, um, you can just work from two separate balls of yarn or you can wind it together like I have here. Mainly I did this because it looks so pretty like this, doesn't it? But the only time it works, the only time you can think about winding it together if you have a ball winder at home is if the two fibers are identical. You don't want to wind a fun fur and a wool together because the wool is going to stretch and have a lot of give to it and the fun fur is going to hold rigid and not stretch at all and you'll you won't be able to keep good tension out of the ball. It won't ruin your knitting, but it'll just, you'll end up with one strand much longer, um, like the wool strand will end up being much longer because it will, nope, the wool strand will end up being shorter because it will have relaxed after being stretched and the, the fun fur will be longer. Anyway, this looks nice if you want to um, use like the same exact kind of yarn and wind it together for a scarf or something. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just show you an example of what I mean by knitting double-stranded by working on this little bit of mock rib. So let's go ahead and take a look. So you can see using the two colors gives it a nice look. It looks really cool. And every time you, um, you see two strands on the needle, that counts as one stitch. And I'll tell you that you don't, if you're knitting double-stranded, you don't want to use really pointed needles. You want to use needles that have a little bit of bluntness to them, otherwise you're forever going to be splitting the stitches. So I'm just going to work a few stitches to show you what I mean. I put my needle in through both strands, wrap it with both strands, pull it through both strands. This is just like knitting with one strand of yarn. And you don't really have to pay attention to if the yarn is twisting on itself or whatever. It kind of just gives a, a different effect and more texture if there are little twists to it. And I'm just working knit one purl one here. And you can see if my needles were really sharp, I'd be likely to split between the two stitches and that would throw my stitch count off. I would increase accidentally. And that's it. I hope that answers everyone's question. Good luck.